good morning. This is your Brunswick tour on October 1st, 2023. Next weekend is the uh, Railroad Days weekend, so I wanted to give you a little heads up. Yeah, that's going to be October 7th and 8th, I believe. Is that correct? And uh, there will be lots of activities and vendors and food and stuff. So right now we're on East Potomac Street. We started out at the park at Park Street. We're going by the old um, place where Patsy Cline performed and met her husband, Gerald Cline, her first husband. We have the water treatment plant on our left we just passed. We're right now at 3rd Avenue. And on the left you can see part of the train yard. Brunswick, Maryland is famous for the train yard. So uh, Brunswick was originally called Berlin once it was granted to some white dude by George II of Great Britain, taken away from the Susquehanna Native Americans that lived here, and uh, called it Berlin because there were so many Germans. And then they named it Barry, and then in 1890 they incorporated it as Brunswick, Maryland. So here on our right, we have the Potomac Street Grill, which is a great place to eat, actually. I would give it a 4.6 stars at least. It is good Mediterranean food. We have the antiques and old stuff on the right-hand side. We have an eyeglass place. All right. And here's the light at Maple Avenue. Now, this is Lower Maple Avenue, okay, that I'm crossing. There's an Upper Maple Avenue as well. So this is Old Town, Brunswick, Maryland. Consider this the oldest part. Over here on the right, we have footwork shoes. Over here on the left, we have some activity going on. The buildings, I guess, finally sold and are being worked on. Here's the corner store on the left-hand side. Um, they actually close around eight, uh, 9 o'clock at night on Friday and Saturday because apparently this town is dead after 9. On the left here, we have Beans in the Belfry Cafe. It's in an old church, as you can see. It's actually quite nice inside with a you know, piano and uh, benches and, oh, that guy had a cello, and uh, couches and places to chill and hang out and read books and drink your coffee and take your time. Here on the right, we have King's New York Style Pizza. Not bad, not, you know, I'd give it like a 3.9 or a 4. Right here, we have Smoky Town Brewing. They're open right now. Okay. Now, they're not open past 10 o'clock on Friday and Saturday night. Again, this is apparently a uh, Brunswick thing that nobody really goes out after that time. Not really sure. So we're still, now we're on West Potomac Street. We're going to go all the way down here and see what we can do. Because then we'll run along closer to the railroad tracks right before we get out of Brunswick proper. As we get to the end of West Potomac Street... Here we're passing Georgia Avenue. You can see up ahead the trees. Right? And that's our signal that there's no more houses right there. And that's actually going to be... I'll show you. I'll take you down there. There's the Brunswick self-storage on the left. If we pass over this bridge here... Okay, we're going west on 478. We're headed towards Knoxville, Maryland. When we get right up here, we're going to see a relatively new dollar store. Sorry, Dollar General at Potomac Station. So I'm going to... Oh, didn't realize your entrance was right there. I'm going to come in here and make a little turn. Can I get out down there? Probably yet. I'm going to turn around and show you the entrance to... Brunswick from this side, from the west side. Speed limit here is 30 because we want to be respectful as we get <clears throat> close to people's houses. Don't mind me if I crack open my Red Bull to keep me going. So, you know, it'll give me wings and then I won't need to put on my brakes. Just kidding. Okay. Here, I'm not sure what we're crossing here, a little creek. There's a lot of little creeks that go down to the Potomac around here. So here's our welcome to Brunswick side. Now we're supposed to go down to 25. This road is very narrow. It does have parking on the right-hand side. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to 
take a right hand turn up here let's see what this is we're gonna go drive along the railroad tracks at the road closest to that area this is the last alley interesting that must be tiny it's a little alley I don't know if I want to bother anybody in an alley it goes down to Eel Town. Oh yes, it was called Eel Town originally. I forgot about that. Originally it was called Eel Town because the Susquehanna Native Americans would catch eels in the Potomac River. Okay, we're gonna turn right on Georgia <coughs> Avenue. And so we're gonna go down here. This is gonna, here's Eel Town Alley that we're gonna cross right here. So sometimes the alleys, you're cool to drive down them, but, you know, it's really behind people's houses. That's where they park. That's behind their house. You know, you don't want to bug people just because you're curious. I don't want to get particular. So ahead of us, we have railroad tracks, which you'll see in a moment. And then the name of this road is... I guess we'll find out in a minute. So the railroad tracks are to our right. I hope it's not a one-way only street. I did not see any, anything that indicated that. There are one-way streets. We're crossing Dayton Avenue, which has the giant hill at the top. Brunswick, Maryland is very hilly. I see a freight train over there. Got some nice graffiti on it. The bridge that you see in front of me is the bridge that takes you from Brunswick, Maryland to Lovettsville, Virginia. And that's a nice way to go. Takes you to 287 in Virginia which takes you to seven, um, sorry, which takes you to nine, which takes you to seven, which takes you to Leesburg. All right, so we were on Walnut Street. This is South Virginia Avenue, and I'm going to go down this little alley. I did this the other day. It was kind of fun because then you get to see all the construction that's going on. It's called the Residence, Residences, there's going to be apartments. I guess they're condos. I don't know if they're condos or rentals, but they're probably condos. But here we have the Mark train station and the Brunswick train yard. And we have the new construction going on here. So you can see the equipment. Stop. No left turn. But unfortunately, I do need to go left a tiny bit in order to go straight. So this is the residences at Railroad Square. Okay, they're starting to build this. There's a little picture of it. It looks freaking... Oh my god, it looks hideous. It looks like the ones I saw in Frederick. Oh no. The brown and tan ones that don't have any colors. Oh, where you're not allowed to change colors on anything. And you have to be boring like everybody else and follow rules. Oh lord. Okay, we're at South Maple again. What I want to do real quick here is I want to take you down to the railroad tracks. This is the Mark train station. Brunswick is one of the stops along the uh, Maryland the Mark commuter train line. Um, it does go all the way out to Martinsburg, a few of the trains. Now the only problem with going down here over the second railroad track is if someone decides they need to move a train around you could be sitting here for an hour trying to get back out. So let's hope that doesn't happen. If it does, I guess I'm going for a hike. So this is basically the CNO Canal. Okay, and you can go walking down that towpath, go down to the river. It's right down there. I'm going to get out of here though because I don't feel like sitting here for an hour if a train comes along. But it's really nice. You, um, some of it's like little pea gravel, some of it's uh, paved. It's a real nice path. Part of it is a gravel road that goes down to the campground that's down there. Once you pass a campground, there's no motorized vehicles. And there was no motorized vehicles going west. So you could get on that towpath and walk to Harpers Ferry. You could go over the bridge, the train bridge. Here's some kids eating soft serve ice cream. That's nice, or some kind of ice cream cones. All right, we're going to go up. We got stuck at the light. So, I'm going to just wait it out and tell you a little more about it. So, basically, Brunswick is a smaller town. Right now, Maple Street divides West and East Potomac Street. Okay, 
and so West Potomac Street, their water comes from a spring. East Potomac Street, and over that way, water comes from the Potomac. Um, there is a water treatment plant. Well, everyone complains about the water prices. Okay, here on the right, we actually have um, the police station right next to me on my right here. Why does it look so unwell marked? Someone behind me wants to deliver pizza. I'm going to go down here and show you the World War II Veterans Memorial. They have a wall. They have a, this nice tank here. That's kind of cool. And they have a little plaque about it. And what it says is M5 Jeb Stewart Tank in 1921. A group of veterans built and dedicated this park to honor World War II veterans. Oh, World War I veterans. And then they added on to World War II. Nice. They said, pretty cool looking. And then there's a little statue down here with the machine gun and the boots and the helmet. All right, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to, I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to go up this way. Actually, yeah, I like this street. All right, we're going to show you a little bit around Brunswick, but what I really want to do is I want to show you some of the older portions. So the street up ahead of me is one way. So I'm going to take Campbell Alley here so I can get back and go toward Upper Maple Avenue. So you see this is the back of people's houses. It's not as quiet, like no one's gardening back there, so hopefully no one gets too annoyed at me. All right, here we have a cool looking house. I guess it's the parish house for the church, maybe. It's kind of connected to it. Um, so here we have East B Street, we're on First Avenue. And you see that one-way sign? That one-way sign is actually indicating that it's one way only to the right. To the left, it's both directions. So if I hadn't gone up Campbell Alley, I would have not been able to come this way. That's one way for that block. This house on the left, the Mint Green House, they've been working on that. Here's North Maple Avenue. And you can see down there, there's the hill. A nice hill to the circle. A little circle by the bridge to Lovettsville. All right, we're gonna go up North Avenue. You can see it's really steep. A lot of these streets are dead ends to the right, C Street, dead end, because they get to places where there's too much water. Brunswick itself is almost nine square miles, but 0.44 square miles of it is water. I guess, I don't know if that's a lot, but it's really hilly. Oh, what's this sign up here? yard sale you're too late because it's 329 on a Sunday that's what it says all right we're gonna go just a little bit further I don't want to go too far up to the newer um, I'll get to the Brunswick library and turn around and then we'll go explore some of those hills here's F Street on the right dead end dead end on the left yard